Well, it is spring break, or spring break week, and we're live from Orlando. And uh, good morning. It's first news keeler in the morning. Joe is on in Rome. Uh, Joe, good morning. What's going on this morning? Hello? Hi, Joe. Are you there? Yeah. Good morning, Joe. Joe. You're on the radio. Oh, okay. Bill? Yes. Yes. I wanted to, I wanted to talk about Dave Gordon's appearance on YNN. All right. Well, I'm in Orlando, so I didn't see it. What happened? Well, she she jumped on just like you did about this innuendo about the uh, local politicians that were that supposedly are in sham marriages, and he she kept hammering them, and he he couldn't come up with an answer. It, it doesn't have anything to do with him running for office. It just showed how you were right and how unqualified this guy is to run. He also she also did brought up that, that did, one. Did, a, a yeah. Democratic uh, county had a, had, had endorsed him. She had any endorsements, and he has sixty six dollars in his bank account. And his opponent, that yeah. Kim Myers, had over two hundred thousand. She said, "How can we take yeah. you seriously if you don't? If that's all that's in your bank to run for office?" She says, "Well, you know, I I can't uh, take donations from anyone. I don't think anyone should take donations until they're on the primary ballot." Well, that, well, if I do that, well, she says naturally, well, if you don't make the ballot, you give the donations back. Well, right. He says, well, what right. if I spend them and I can't give them back? I mean, he, he's yeah. really I, totally I gotta, unqualified. I, I have to ask you, Joe, did he bring it up? Did he bring it up or did she bring it up from our oh, interview? Oh, no, she jumped right on him. Well, he okay. jumped on right, yeah. right on it. He didn't bring it up. Of course not. Yeah, I, I, I can't. Listen, um... We've uh, he has a couple of video commercials that we talk about that to me cross the line. They talk about things and they use certain things that to me is just purely exploitation. But I, I don't know. It just seems like uh, it seems like uh, it's a the whole thing is a big joke. I don't know why it's even happening, Joe. And it sounds like I'm not the only I, one that I, thinks that. I don't know that. how he thinks he's going to win. Number one, if, if, yeah. and unless they're doing something illegal, what the heck do we care? Even if he's saying is true, which I doubt. But even if it's true, what the hell does that have to do with him running for office, for him becoming our congressman? Seriously. Right, right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Joe, I'm going to look for that. Uh, I'm assuming they posted it online. I'm going to look for it and watch Yeah, why at an 8 o'clock Capitol tonight with Liz Benjamin? Got it. I like her. She's good. She's very good. All right, Joe. Yep, yep. Joe, thanks so much. Joe Comiso in Rome. I appreciate your time. Good hearing from you, Joe. Uh, listen, you're not going to hear me say I, I was right, but I'm going to tell you. Think about, I, you just wonder, how do you take it seriously? Can someone please explain that to me? How can you take this guy seriously? Well, Period. He's, he's the only Democratic Mark, candidate right now. No, he's not. Kim Myers. No, he's not. you got the Kim Myers who he was just talking about. And and she's the Democratic choice. She's got $200,000 in her purse. And that, uh, because she's the Democratic, that the, she's the Democrat, she's going to be, he's forcing a stinking primary here. That's the problem. She's the only Democrat in. If I'm, uh, other than him, she's the only other one in. So she's he's forcing a primary. But this is the uh, Democratic way. Anyone can run for office who wants to run. Theoretically, that is true, Christine. You are absolutely right. So, be careful what you, you wish for. You got me. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> We're lucky just, there aren't I, more people who are running in the Democratic primary. But uh, uh, you that. That comment that he made about the sham marriage thing was a total... Very irresponsible. You, uh, it was irresponsible, and you know my belief is that someone set him up to that line. Right. And you know who I think it, it was, and mm -hmm. that person has denied it and all of that garbage. But, you know, I mean, this is uh, this pol political stuff is going to be terrible as it is. But to, to have this jamoke involved is just a, a, it's just a shame. Uh, I'm sorry. That's just my belief on the whole thing. So hold on tight. We're live from Orlando, Florida, where the weather down here is quite beautiful. I have to tell you one quick story. Awful day I had yesterday. Actually, it was a beautiful day right until the very end. Do you know that yesterday I walked? I could give you the exact number. Do you want to wait for it? Do you mind waiting how many steps I walked yesterday? Well, yes. I, oh. I'm actually really interested to hear this. You're at the <laughs> I'm end serious. of your seat. No, I'm I know you are. No, because I, Listen, I want to know. Yes. I want to know how many you walked, and then how many you think that you should walk every day. Because you, I think you'd be surprised at that number. What the what the uh, recommended? You mean how many? The record. How do I get to last? I I can't. How do I get to yesterday? 
Ah, uh, that I so don't There's got to be a log week. in it. A month. I don't know. I can't get there, but I'll give you the. I'm going to give you the estimate. It was like fifteen thousand eight hundred and four steps oh, wow. yesterday. Is that why you had a bad day? Which is, which is yes, because <laughs> I wore a new pair of shorts, and uh, chafing. I had a problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, what did you say? Chafing. Yeah, the chafing. common problem. It's all like. Bad. It is a terrible problem, and I'm going to show you how common this thing is. I could, by the end, of, now, we're at the end, you've got to ch- catch a shuttle. You know how, if you've ever gone to these parks, you've got to walk halfway across America, uh, especially <laughs> if you're Epcot, you're walking across the world, technically, and to get to, to get to your shuttle. And so we're walking fast, and, oh, my wife can't miss the shuttle. No, we can't pay for a taxi. We're going to take the free shuttle. So i got to walk, and I'm walking fast, and it just made it worse. By the time I got back to the hotel, I swear to you, I couldn't walk. And they didn't have any, uh, well, I'll explain. I go to the gift shop, and I kind of hobble into the gift shop. And I'm down there looking at the little baby area section, and I said, the woman said, can I help you? You don't want to hear that because you know what your situation is. It's embarrassing. Can I help you, she says. And I I said, well, my wife sent me down for the baby. We're looking for desitin. (laughs) <laughs> the woman for the baby the woman no oh, this is the best part the woman said chafing you've got a chafing problem uh. <laughs> she totally called me out totally called me out she was nice about it but she totally knew apparently obviously this is as andrew said it's common it's a common well, uh i mean i don't walk so 15,000 steps every day so was she able she to gave help me you? this medicated stuff, and I'm feeling I'm feeling better. I'm worried about uh, you know more walking today. But I think you we'll should be. See. I think you should be more offended that she didn't believe you. You had a baby. Right. That you were. She said, "Sure, yeah, Grandpa." She might as well. <laughs> <laughs> you mean your grandchild? I'd have been better off saying, "Yes, my uh, my grandchild is a baby oh, and needs some desitin." Oh, I'd have been far better off. Birthdays today. Lorenzo Althorpe is celebrating today, and we're going to give the cake to Lorenzo. Happy birthday! Day, Lorenzo Elthorpe gets a cake from the Florentine Pastry Shop on Bleecker Street in Utica. You can get a birthday cake on the air by going to our new site at wybx950.com, or you can send in a postcard, and I don't have the address it's, in front uh, of me. It's WIBX. WIBX uh, birthdays, uh, 9418 River Road, Marcy, New York, 13403. That is exactly right. I was testing you there. We'll come right back <laughs> with news with Christine on WIBX.